Where are they? And how do I? Talk to me. We uh, saw you deal with the compromised agents. So this is some sort of fast travel point. Okay. It's safe to come out. Okay. Obviously, we need to go over there. Um, let's do that. Okay, so we need to go over here, uh, but I wonder if we should look around first. We look around first. What do you reckon? Now we'll go. We'll we'll uh, go and talk to them. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay, so we need to go over there, um, but before we do that, I want to have a look around. I know, I know. Priorities. Something over here. Oh, and we've got some assets. What's that one? Hidden trend. Conceptual material. Alerts. I, I would love to know what these are for. I wonder if it's for upgrades later? Okay. Unread. Control points. Examination of paranatural topics. Control points. 
Control points are located are uh, locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the meh arrangement, the surrounding areas will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by meh detection of an unobstructed ping using the meh within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or meh, or vulnerable points of the oldest house. The common factor in these series is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, the technology could be extrapolated extrapolated I should say to stabilize the oldest house as a whole but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be meh refer to file 7-25-2788 for full report okay yes my ability to read English despite it being my first language leaves a lot to be desired in this game but I'm going to try it anyway now do we want to just go and do this or do we want to have a look around now do we want to just go and do this or do we want to have a look around I think we'll have a little, little look around. There's the boardroom up there. See anything over here? That's where we came from. See anything? What's that say? Please wait here. If I could, I'd be waiting a long, long time. Uh, that's locked. That's not. Uh, what's in here? Yeah, anything? Is it, uh, there's some more of these things. I wonder if we have to get in there eventually. Is that a jukebox? I think it is. Some weird shit in this place. That is for sure. But yeah, they've got another one on that side. Uh, but they don't have a third one on this side. Oh, that's locked. Can't do anything with the computer. Right, and we'll just... Sector elevator. They must be time cards of some sort. Now is that for tracking their time or just making sure they know they're in the building? <laughs> That would be a good question to um, find the answer to. Okay, there's nothing over here. It's nothing. And we can't get out there. Okay, let's give this a go. That didn't go to plan. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Hmm. This agent. Field research on hiss entity. Hiss corrupted agent. Confidential. The hiss manifest in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The Hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most noticeable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These Hiss have displayed no aggressive behaviour. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation in a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to file there for full report. 
Excellent. Right. Jesse, yeah, yeah, I know you're over there. So we being down there. There's nothing on this cart, was there? No. Okay. Yes, we go and talk to. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Okay, this is really, really getting freaky. It's the old-fashioned phone. But it doesn't have a dial. Just a button. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Okay. Thanks, Emily. Okay. So we picked up some more stuff. Unknown caller enter the communications department to find the hotline. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline, an object of power in the form of an old telephone, to understand the messages from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight into the hiss, the hiss invasion. Okay. What did we actually end up picking up? Portrait of director Zachary 
trench. The only person you should fail is yourself. Huh. Interesting uh, philosophy. Uh, have we got any new loadouts? We do. No, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. What's this one? Don't know what it is for, though, do we? About this one. Health recovery. Energy. Or energy recovery. I'm going to go with health recovery. Uh, I'm going to swap that out. Yep. Simply because of my ability to die so easily. I'm thinking if I get... Yeah, if I get more health every time I pick up those little blue things, that will be better. Anyway, let's see what else she's got to say. The hotline should be in the communications department. Okay, so what is the origin of the hiss? Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Okay, and the oldest house. It keeps getting mentioned, but we're still not quite sure what it is. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Alright, and Director Trench, who seems to be helping us somehow. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, objects of power. So we've got the gun and we've got the phone. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. I'm glad someone got it, because that just went, whoa, rushing over my head. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay, and that's it. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Sure, I just will. Just let me know. Okay, what do we do? Do something over here? But it looks... 
Uh, ammo refund. What's that? Ammo refund. Ref here. Yeah. Refund chance on hit. Well, we might as well. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's have a look where we are. With there, we need to get all the way up there. Does that mean we go upstairs? We came from this direction. Yeah, that's right. We came from this direction. And it doesn't seem to be anything more that's changed. Room here that we can look in. I don't think we've been in here. I don't think we've been in here because this is new. Health boost. Nice. What's that look like? Personal mods. 18% health increase. I think more health overall is probably be better. What I... Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with that. More health means less chance of dying uh, in the event that you can't get the blue things. That makes sense to me. Seem to be anything else in here. That's a locked room. This is room with nothing in it oh no is that something i don't wonder what the undefined reading so i don't know what these are actually for um all i can assume is that that you can use them later on to build upgrades or something This is where we came in. It's the director's office. Okay, so that's the boardroom. We've been in... Oh no, we haven't been in here. Technology, uh, technological limitations of the oldest house. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or admit any meh signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are, far, are too new in the cultural nah, for the oldest house to near nah them. Similarity, oh, similar, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the nah, to occupy. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Meh agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Refer to file 4-19-193544 for full report. Okay, so that explains a lot of the old technology. Is basically the new technology can't be used here. You know, like this old TV over here. Certainly not a smart TV. Wow. 
what's that okay so these radios um i've got the copyright music turned off i'm assuming these radios play copyright music that's why nothing happens when you click them anything in here there is more plenty of little upgrades and stuff that was uh house memory i've noticed it oh is there something here is there something what's that why is it doing that Okay, let's see what this one says. Federal Bureau of Control. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level bathroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. Ah. Yeah, that would be really frustrating. What's in here? This is a completely different room. Anything in here for us? Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Puzzles me that they would have an entire room with nothing in it. Anything for us, I should say. And this looks to be the last room on this level. Oh, there's uh, one of these things. Undefined reading. So we we already know what those are. Well, we don't. We just know that they are collectibles of some sort. And the boardroom is there. need to um, try and remember where the hell it is that we're going. If you've enjoyed this episode of Control, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and please do leave me comments. You've been watching Smells Bad Gaming. Thank you very much.